Welcome back to the channel. We are the WBs and this is our travel diary. We recently stayed at the Hotel Palencia Puerto Boyenza in Mallorca. This is a review and tour of the hotel. The hotel is situated on the main beach in Puerto Boyenza. It has the most magnificent views overlooking the bay. There are no five-star hotels in Puerto Proyenza at the moment, but this one, along with a couple of others, is voted four-star superior. We will now show you around our room and the hotel. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the beautiful Hotel Palencia in Puerto Boyenza in the north of Mallorca. We are staying here for a long weekend and this video is a review and tour of our room and the hotel. So we're starting off on our fabulous balcony. As you can see, it is really big and we've got this gorgeous sea view. We did try to reserve a suite, but they were full. They've only got a couple of them. So we went for the next category down, which is the sea view room. And the balcony is fantastic. I'm really pleased with this space. So should we go and check out the room? So the room is quite small, but they've used the space really well. I'm quite impressed with the layout of the room for such a small room. So when you come in, you've got your two sections of wardrobe over here. There's an iron and an ironing board and a safe and plenty of storage, quite a lot of hangers, which is always a good thing. So yeah, the wardrobe space is perfectly adequate. Down here, you've got a little mini bar, which is quite well stocked. It's Lent at the moment and I've given up chocolate, so I'm so depressed to see a Kit Kat and some Oreos in there. Um, then we've got a TV directly opposite this lovely big bed. So it's two beds together, but it looks like a sort of king size. So uh, perfectly good for two people. Then we've got these beautiful sort of boho chic lights. I think they're just really cute. I love the vibe of this room with all of these beautiful accessories. Down here we've got our beach spa towels in this lovely little basket. And then over here we've got tea, coffee, even a plug-in to make the room smell pretty. How cute. Um, as is in most hotels that we've come across since COVID, all of the activities, menus, etc., is on your QR code. And if we go down here, in the corridor, we've got a nice full-size mirror and a little stall, and then the bathroom. The bathroom's only got a shower, but it's very nice. I do like the, the shower. And then um, one sink and some lovely toiletries. So all in all, as I say, a small room, but a lovely room. The space at the front of the hotel is a perfect place to sit and relax and watch the world go by. The views are magnificent across the bay and there's a lovely outdoor bar so you can grab yourself a drink and chill on one of the sun loungers or one of the relaxing chairs. There's also an area raised above the reception where you can sit and look over the bay. It really is a beautiful place to relax. Throughout the hotel, there's a really beautiful boho chic style. It's really stylish and attractive. We really enjoyed this theme. The hotel is adults only, so that gives it a really calm and serene feel as you're sitting outside overlooking the bay. There is a bar inside the main lobby, as well as a section where you can buy dresses, men's shirts, hats, various clothes items. From the ground floor, you can take a lift up to the rooftop terrace. There's a fantastic space on the rooftop overlooking the bay. There are plenty of sun loungers, some cabanas, and also a small but perfectly formed plunge pool.
We had a stroll around this area, but we didn't actually use it. It was just a little bit too cold for us to be able to enjoy it at the time of year that we traveled. There's one restaurant at this hotel serving a buffet breakfast and an a la carte lunch and dinner. We stayed on a half board basis using the buffet breakfast and half board a la carte dinner. The food was beautiful and we really enjoyed eating here. Should we return to this hotel, we would return on a bed and breakfast basis partly because the a la carte menu was quite limited and also because there are some fantastic restaurants very close to the hotel. The hotel has a small gym that's open 24 hours a day. I used this in the mornings and it was brilliant. I had it all to myself. There's also spa access at the neighboring hotel, the Hotel Uyao. We went to use it, but unfortunately they were having some maintenance issues, so we couldn't use it. We were offered a visit to the Hotel Iador, but were told that we would have to pay for that. So we politely declined using the spa facilities. All in all, we think this hotel is perfect for a stay in Puerto Boyenza. We would give it a WB rating of 4 out of 5. If you're travelling to the Palencia Hotel anytime soon, we wish you a fantastic holiday. Thanks for watching. All the best, the WBs. <laughs>